struggling to get a stronger core because you hate lying on the floor? You're not alone. Whether it's discomfort, limited mobility, or just the hassle of getting up and down, floor-based ab exercises aren't for everyone. But here's the good news. You don't need to lie down to build a strong, stable core. In this video, we'll show you standing ab exercises that not only target your core, but also engage your back, hips, and legs, all while keeping you off the ground. Standing ab exercises offer several advantages compared to floor-based exercises, especially for people who want an easier way to strengthen their core. Research shows that standing exercises often work multiple muscle groups at the same time. For example, while floor-based exercises mostly focus on your abs, standing moves also engage your back, hips, and legs, helping to improve overall strength and stability. Another advantage is that standing ab exercises can improve balance and posture. Studies have found that when you stand and move, your core muscles work harder to keep you stable, which helps train your body for everyday activities. This can be especially helpful for people who want to move better in daily life or prevent falls as they get older. Finally, standing ab exercises can be more functional and realistic because they mimic movements you do in real life, like twisting, reaching, and bending. Plus, you don't need any equipment or a clean floor, so you can do them anywhere making it more convenient to stick to your fitness routine. Ready to give them a try? Before starting your standing core workout, keep a few key points in mind to maximize effectiveness. Always engage your core to protect your lower back and ensure the targeted muscles are working properly. Maintain good posture by standing tall with your shoulders back and chest lifted, and focus on controlled, deliberate movements to avoid injury. Coordinate your breathing with each movement exhaling during exertion, and inhaling as you return to the starting position. Finally, adapt the exercises to your fitness level, modifying the range of motion or intensity as needed, and progress gradually as you build strength. Number 1. Standing Oblique Crunches Standing oblique crunches strengthen the obliques and enhance lateral stability, helping to define the waist and improve balance. Stand with your feet hip-width apart, hands behind your head, and elbows wide. Lift one knee toward the corresponding elbow, engaging your obliques as they meet. Lower with control and switch sides, alternating continuously while maintaining core engagement and steady movement. It's recommended to perform two to three sets of 12 to 15 reps per side. Number two, wood chop with resistance band. Wood chop with resistance band mimics real life twisting movements, engaging both the core and upper body to improve rotational strength and functional fitness. Anchor a resistance band at waist height and stand side on to the anchor point with your feet shoulder width apart. Grasp the free end of the band with both hands, arms extended straight out. Engage your core as you pull the band diagonally or straight across your body, rotating your torso until your hands reach the opposite side. Return to the starting position with control. Repeat for the desired number of reps, then switch sides to work the other direction. For wood chop with resistance band, Aim for two to three sets of 10 to 12 reps per side. Number three, standing knee to elbow cross crunch. The standing knee to elbow cross crunch targets the entire core, helping to enhance balance and flexibility. Begin by standing with your feet hip width apart and hands behind your head, keeping your elbows wide. Lift one knee toward the opposite elbow, engaging your core as they meet across your body, maintaining good posture by keeping your back straight and chest lifted. Lower back with control and repeat on the other side, alternating sides continuously while maintaining a steady and balanced movement. Perform two to three sets of 15 to 20 reps per side. Number four, single leg deadlift with twist. Single leg deadlift with a twist engages the core, glutes, and hamstrings, enhancing stability and balance. Stand on one leg with a slight bend in the knee and hold your hands together in a position that helps you maintain balance. Keeping your back straight, hinge at the hips to lower your torso forward while extending the other leg straight behind you. At the lowest point, add a twist by rotating your torso toward the standing leg, engaging your core for balance. Return to the starting position with control and repeat for the desired reps before switching to the other leg. Aim for two to three sets of 10 to 12 reps per side. Number five, overhead press with knee lift. The overhead press with knee lift engages the shoulders and core promoting upper body strength and stability while enhancing balance. Start by standing with your feet hip width apart, holding dumbbells or a single weight like a kettlebell at shoulder height. 
press the weights overhead while simultaneously lifting one knee toward your waist, engaging your core for balance. Lower your arms and leg with control, then repeat on the opposite side, alternating continuously. Aim for 2 to 3 sets of 12 to 15 reps per side to maximize strength and stability benefits. Number 6. Standing Windmills The standing windmill strengthens the obliques, enhances flexibility, and improves balance, making it an excellent addition to your core workout. This exercise can also be performed by holding a weight with your raised arm. Stand with your feet wider than shoulder width apart, with one arm extended overhead and the other resting on your hip or down by your side. Engage your core and hinge at the hips to lower your torso. Your free hand slides down the leg toward the same side foot while keeping the extended arm straight. Be sure to keep your hips square and stationary as possible as you focus on the sideways hinging movement of the upper body. Return to the starting position with control and repeat for the desired reps before switching sides. Aim for 2 to 3 sets of 10 to 12 reps per side to maximize the benefits. Number 7. Standing Side Bend with Weight Standing side bend with weight strengthens the obliques and improves lateral flexibility, helping to tone your core and enhance mobility. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart, holding a dumbbell or similar weight in one hand by your side. Keeping your core engaged, slowly bend your torso to the side, lowering the weight toward your knee. Return to the starting position with control, avoiding any momentum. Repeat for the desired reps, then switch sides. Perform 2 to 3 sets of 12 to 15 reps per side. Number 8. Rotational Step Back Lunge The rotational step back lunge strengthens the core, obliques, and lower body while improving balance and rotational mobility. Like many core exercises, a weighted object can also be used to increase the intensity. Stand with your feet hip width apart and hands clasped together in front of your chest or holding a light weight. Step back with one leg into a lunge position keeping your torso upright and your front knee aligned with your ankle. As you lower into the lunge, rotate your torso toward the front leg, engaging your obliques. Return to the starting position by stepping forward and bringing your torso back to center. Repeat on the other side, alternating legs. Perform 2 to 3 sets of 10 to 12 reps per side to maximize the core and stability benefits. Number 9. Standing Pike Crunch the Standing Pike Crunch is an excellent exercise for targeting the upper and lower abs while improving balance and flexibility. To perform the Standing Pike Crunch, start with your feet hip width apart and arms extended overhead. Engage your core and lift one leg straight out in front of you while reaching both arms toward your toes. Lower your leg and return your arms overhead to the starting position, then repeat on the opposite side. Avoid rounding your back or swinging your leg. Focus on slow, controlled movements and avoid using momentum. Keep your back straight to prevent strain and fully engage your core throughout the exercise. Perform two to three sets of 12 to 15 reps per side. Number 10, Wall Supported Hollow Body Hold. The Wall Supported Hollow Body Hold engages the core while using the wall for hand support, making it a great option for building stability and proper alignment. Stand facing a wall with your feet hip width apart and place your hands on the wall above your head height, keeping your arms straight. Tilt your pelvis slightly forward by engaging your abdominal muscles and tucking your tailbone under, creating a hollowing effect in your midsection. Squeeze your glutes and press gently into the wall for support. Keep your shoulders down and back, avoiding any arching in your lower back, and maintain alignment between your torso and legs. Hold this position for 15 to 30 seconds per set focusing on core engagement and proper posture. Perform two to three sets to build strength and stability. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more of our content. Thank you for watching.